Hi, welcome to Rimshot Drums and Percussion. I'm Ron Haslam, San Diego's only modal drum professor. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to talk about timekeeping, uh, which is pretty much the drummer's role in uh, you know, any band situation. Uh, everybody really relies on the drummer not to speed up or slow down, uh, but also to lock in a really good groove, um, what they call playing in the pockets. It kind of makes everyone feel good so that they can work on their part, their, their instrumental parts, rather than uh, you know trying to struggle with what's going on with the rhythm section or the timekeeping. Uh, this is a really, really good exercise for just to practice to playing the music or a click track to really get yourself feeling uh, a really good feeling of what they call pocket groove so that it feels good to everybody and makes people want to get up and dance. Um, the first thing I'm going to introduce is the, some people may know about this, called the molar technique. It has to do with um, a whipping type of motion uh, as you're playing time, and that's sort of your underlying um, feel. So if you're playing quarter notes, you're just playing one, two, three, four, or you're playing eighth notes, one and two and three and four and or eighth note triplets, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, or sixteenth notes, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, while keeping uh, uh, just a simple uh, call and answer pattern going on with your your feet, uh, bass drum, snare drum, boom, bap, boom, bap that kind of thing. This is really a great exercise for that. At first it's a little hard. You kind of want to get this shoulder of the stick hitting sort of the the bow of the and, and edge of the hi-hat. And as you get into the eighth notes, triplet eighths and sixteenths, the tips of the stick as you pick up from that whipping motion are what produce those notes. Uh, so let's get started, and I'll show you what I'm what I mean. What you do is you put those all together. Uh, for time purposes here, I'll just do one measure, but what you really want to do is play at least four to eight measures. Most songs are eight, eight bars long for their verse or their A section. Um, so here's an example. notice how I went all the way up and then I came back down. The hardest transition is between the eighths and the eighth note triplets, uh, the eighth note triplets and the sixteenths, and then especially coming back down. So what you really want to be aware on of is what's, your, what's the underlying feel. It's kind of like building a house. If you don't have a strong feeling underneath uh, to build on, whatever you play on top is not going to be centered. So it really helps to play all your exercises with just basic foot patterns and then you can move on from there. There you go.
I'll see you at the next lesson.